Welcome back to Serving Up Plumbing with me, your master plumber, David Butler. Today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of plumbers struggle with, and that is, what is a sump pump and what is a sewage ejector pump? Are they both the same thing or are they different things? But before we get to that, please hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. All right, now let's find out the difference between sump pumps and sewage ejector pumps. Is a sump pump and a sewage ejector pump the same thing? No, they're not. A lot of guys don't understand that. They think sump pump's a sump pump. Well, when you say a sump pump, that means it's generally for stormwater, rainwater, groundwater, all right? Now, the confusing part about this is the definition of a sump. A sump has a pump with a mechanical means of emptying it. A sewage ejector pump uses a sump. A sump pump uses a sump. But when we say sump pump, we're generally talking about stormwater, rainwater, some type of runoff water that is not black water or cat three water, category three, which means it's got fecal matter or something of that nature in it. Sump pumps generally are put outside or under the house. So are sewage ejector pumps. What are we pumping different on a sewage ejector pump? On a sewage ejector pump, it means sinks, toilets, showers, laundry, anything in the house that's either gray water or black water is going into that sewage ejector pump. That sewage ejector pump also has to pump out into a sanitary sewer. Whereas a sump pump, we don't want in the sanitary sewer. The sump pump, which is pumping storm water or ground water under the house, something that's not contaminated water, at least not contaminated with sewage, we want to pump that out to an area like a creek or a out into the street or out into the alley, out onto the yard, somewhere that it can just disperse out and soak into the ground or dry up. We're taking it from one place and putting it in another, but we don't have to worry about it being sanitary. With sewage, we can't pump that out onto the ground or out in the yard. And even washing machine drains, you can't pump that out onto the ground. We want to pump that into a sanitary drain. Now, we don't want to put our sump pumps in a sanitary because our city sewers are already having to treat and handle enough water. They don't have the ability to handle all the storm water too. So we don't want to be pumping that into it. In fact, it's against code in most places to pump sump water into a sanitary water. Now there are areas that use combination sanitary and storm water. That's not the case here in North Texas area. I know there are large cities and sometimes that have used both mixed together, but not in the North Texas area. The sump pump pumps storm water. The sewage ejector pump pumps sewage. Sometimes the same pump that pumps sewage can be used for storm water because the sewage pump will pump solids. The storm water pump may pump solids, it may not. It may get clogged up right immediately when you pump it, but most of the time you want your sump pump also to be able to pump like dirt and small rocks and trash that get down in there in it, small sticks even. A sewage pump, we need to make sure and be able to pump, you know, waste and water and toilet paper, that sort of thing without stopping up. So they'll usually pump up to two inch solids. The other thing about a sewage ejector pump is it has to have proper venting, proper backflow protection, and it has to be a sealed pit so that none of the sewer gas can escape or it can't overflow in such a way that it could cause a hazardous situation. With a sump pump, it does not have to have a vent, and it doesn't always have to be sealed solid. It can just have a lid on it so that it's not. It could even have a grate on top of it so that water pours into it because we're not dealing with sewage water here. So in a nutshell, that's the basic differences between a sewage ejector pump and a sump pump. Now, one more little tidbit here. A lot of plumbers call a sewage ejector pump a grinder pump. They're not the same thing. Sewage ejector pumps and grinder pumps are not the same. A grinder pump will pump sewage and it will grind up things that get in it. Maybe you're working at a chicken factory or something or a, a processing plant of some sort that has a lot of material that can get into the pump and they might go to a grinder pump. But in general, grinder pumps pump a lot slower and less volume than a sewage ejector pump. A sewage ejector pump is made to pump waste toilet paper, those sort of things, fecal matter. They are not made to pump bones and rocks and all of that stuff 
that would be put in a grinder pump. Not so much rocks, I know, but more things that could go into it that need to be literally ground up before they go into the sanitary sewer system. Grinder pumps are generally still pumped into either some sort of trap or containment or into the sanitary sewer. But you generally do not use grinder pumps for sewage ejector pumps to catch toilets and those sort of things. Now, I'm sure there's some of you out there that are gonna argue this point, but when you go buy a grinder pump, you're gonna pay a lot more for a grinder pump. And there are small pumps called macerator pumps that you put on toilets for basements and that sort of thing. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a sump pit with a grinder pump in it. You want a sewage ejector pump if you're catching toilets and those sort of things. You want a grinder pump when you get into more industrial use. That's the major difference between sump pumps, sewage ejector pumps, and the grinder pumps. Now we're gonna go more into detail and show you exactly how to install these things in later videos. If you need to know the difference right now, sump pumps mean storm water, groundwater, rainwater. Sewage ejector pumps mean just that, sewage. They are installed totally differently and you need to make sure and follow the codes on both. When do you need a sump pump or when do you need a sewage ejector pump? Well, sump pumps are generally when you have a low area, when your house is built lower than the road or you have an area of your yard that floods or maybe you have a real high water table in the ground and water builds up under your home. I've installed sump pumps directly under houses. I've installed them outside the house and had drainage from inside the house coming out to it from catching water that's under a house. Now you generally don't have sump pumps under a slab. You have sump pumps outside the house. Maybe water builds up around the foundation and you have some type of subsoil drainage or French drain that drains into your sump pump. That's why you would have a sump pump. Now one thing about a sump pump, you can never depend on a sump pump to keep up with mother nature. A sump pump, I don't care how big you put it because it will only keep up with the water to a certain extent. Mother Nature can always overrun it, as we saw with Katrina overrunning the levees and the pumps that were in New Orleans. They had huge pumps that were sump pumps for pumping flood water out, and it still overran that town. You can't depend on a pump to keep you from getting flooded. What it does get rid of is the water after it starts raining. Once it quits raining, it'll get rid of the water that builds up. You need to make sure that you're not depending on a sump pump to keep your home from flooding. Secondly, where do we need a sewage pump? Oftentimes, maybe you had a septic system or maybe your house is very low compared to the street. Maybe we can't get to the sewer main with normal slope of gravity flow. So when we have that situation, what do we have to do? We have to pump the sewage. A lot of commercial buildings have large sewage pumps for the lower floors. If they've got basements, you have a sewage pump most on all houses up north. We don't have a lot of basements here in Dallas, so we don't have a whole lot of sewage pumps. More so, we use them when a house has been converted from a septic system to a sewer system, and the septic system is too far away that we can't get it to the sewer system. So we put in a pump and we pump it to the city main. That works out really well here. But we don't have a lot of basements, so we don't have that situation a lot. But I know you do up north. You have sewage ejector pumps in a lot of homes because you have bathrooms and basements and that sort of thing. So those are the main places you're gonna use the sewage or sump pumps. Well, we're gonna go into a lot more detail of these individually in the future videos, but I hope this has helped you out to know what's the difference in a sump pump, what's the difference in a grinder pump, what's the difference in a sewage pump, and where you need which one, and where it's safe to put which one, and what the code says about it we'll talk about later too. Please hit the subscribe button for this video, Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me your comments out there. Maybe you guys up north can tell me more about how you put those sump pumps in up north and how you put your sewage ejector pumps in up north. And I'd love to hear about it. Don't forget to tell your friends the butler did it.